Hello, this is Patrick Fleming, and this is my public lecture video. The lecture that I attended was The Physics of Breakfast by Professor Gunker. I found this talk interesting because it explained simple things in the world uh, using physics that I could understand, and then applied it to other scenarios in the greater good. The first thing we discussed was the coffee ring effect. Professor Gunker explained why particles move towards the outside of stains in a coffee stain. Um, basically, he explained how the adhesion cohesion makes a spherical cap. Uh, this cap drops like a pancake instead of shrinking, um, and the edges stay where they are. They kind of pin to the table, uh, which is a modern mystery. And the fluid flows from the middle to the edge, and the particles collect on the edge. Um, because they're minimizing surface area. They're happy when they minimize surface area. Uh, so when these particles dry, they are the same size as they started, uh, but more molecules are on the outside from this molecule movement and this need for minimizing surface area. The next topic is scrambled eggs. Um, they wanted to test that first. They didn't want to assume that scrambled eggs are liquid and um, or uncooked eggs are liquid and scrambled cooked eggs are solid so they did what they called a creep test. Uh, they pushed down on both and they would see the force first time graph and see if they were more liquid like and solid like. Um, their assumptions were correct, and a raw egg is more liquid-like, and a cooked egg is more solid-like, based on the creep test in force first time recordings. Um, but, as we saw in the lecture, uh, what we learned was that the proteins in eggs um, stick together, um, and it takes a large force to pull them apart. Um, this force is heating, usually. Uh, so, by heating the proteins, um, that's what's cooking the eggs and solidifying them. And currently there's no process to undo it. Um, and he gave us a tip for cooking eggs uh, that you need to keep the heat under boiling temperature. Um, that will keep the eggs softer and more liquid-like. You won't have hard eggs that way. Uh, the last topic we discussed in the lecture are Cheerio clumps. Uh, and this is the phenomenon that Cheerios are always attracted to each other in a milk or a water substance. Um, that if the Cheerios were on other sides of the bowl, eventually they would come together. So the reason for this are that Cheerios are less dense than milk and they sit high up on the milk. Uh, when they do this, they create a meniscus in a valley. Um, and these mists and valleys pull the Cheerios closer to together. If they're within a certain distance, they'll be pulled together, um, and they want to sit in this happy point for them that are the valleys and the meniscus, um, and this is where they are at equilibrium. So if several Cheerios are in a water-like substance, they will be attracted because of the meniscus of the Cheerio sitting up high in liquid. Uh, an interesting application that Professor Junker talked about um, that really interested me in this talk uh, is that the coffee ring effect is currently being applied for different testing. Um, and these tests are very cheap and they can help people throughout the world who don't need any high-tech equipment to proctor these tests. So I figured that was very interesting um, just studying how coffee dries and how molecules uh, flow in a coffee drop can help in large-term applications like testing of diseases. Um, I further investigated and I wanted to learn more about the Cheerio effect and I actually found a formula that physicists had wrote in the American Journal of Physics. 
and it described the force between two spheres. Um, I found this very interesting that they actually had written an equation for the force uh, for Cheerios or other small bodies, small structures, in the self-assembly of them. Um, so I further investigated and found this was interesting. Uh, I enjoyed Professor Yunker's talk, and I would suggest it to any other students if you tune again in the future. Thank you for listening to my video.